Hello friends, it is Denise from Loving Life at, I'm just trying to get a little bit of that shadow out of here guys, Loving Life at 60-ish. No, that darn shadow. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Take two. Hello friends, this is Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish. I should probably do a bloopers of all the mess ups that I make. <clears throat> I might have to do that eventually. But anyway, I am here today for Etsy Shop Drop. And this is Sunday that I'm videotaping this, but it is Monday that you will see it. And, um... So yeah, uh, we made it through Hurricane Lee. Um, it was not a hurricane here in Maine. It was, I think they called it a tropical storm. Um, but it was pretty bad. Uh, we, we lost our power off and on, like for one time early in the morning for quite a while. But then the other times it was just a flick off and on, just long enough to shut everything down. Um, my daughter and her family lost their power yesterday morning, so Saturday morning, and did not get it back until late this afternoon. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, but we made it through, and today was a beautiful sunny day. We got a lot of work done outside. <clears throat> so, uh, it's good. We, I'm going to videotape this and then I really need to get some things done because we're headed into another busy week and I didn't get as much done today as I had hoped. So I'm just fidgeting stuff, you know, moving stuff from side to side here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> what I will say is my asthma has been really bothering me the last week. So, my son-in-law cut down a lot of the goldenrod today that was out, that was made up our lawn, basically, because it hasn't been mowed in a long time. Long story. And um, But he knocked all that down today, so hopefully that will help some with my allergies also. But without further ado, let's do Etsy Shop Drop. Now, some of you will notice that most of these that you see are already up in my shop. And that is because I put them up in my shop Saturday morning, yesterday morning, um, in hopes that if we lost the power, they would already be up in the shop come Monday. So <clears throat> you will see, <clears throat> I think one of them might not be up in the shop. So, and let's go. The first five are almost identical, except the um, girls on them have different color hair or different color skin. But otherwise, they are pretty well, pretty much identical. So I needed some medical ones for medical bills. So this is a nurse. And I just liked her. I liked this image. Um, I purchased this image from a uh, shop. And um, then I did the nurse, the medical crosses. And this is saving for medical needs because we, you know, those medical bills are now uh, coming in fast and furious. So <clears throat> I wanted something. I also have another medical one coming out. Uh, not, not yet. Maybe, maybe midweek I'll get it out. Depends on how much time I have at the computer this week. But so I did nurse ones and of course the envelope. I just love that image. Rosie the Riveter right there. Strong women. And um, I'm going to move this. 
my desk is becoming a disaster again already. And then I have this one, a little blonde haired one. Interestingly, she only changed the hair color, not the eye color on these, which I would have thought blonde hair, blue eyes, right? And then there's a red head, reddish hair, I guess is what you'd call it. And then there's this one. Um... And so this, all of these, you decide what your goal is and how much each one of these <clears throat> is going to equal. I think there are 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 14, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 of them. Well, actually 41 if you want to count that one. So I would probably do them $5 at a time. Um, and so it would be $200. <clears throat> or $205, right? Uh, which would be helpful. It's not going to pay the medical bills, but it's going to pay a little bit, and every little bit counts. And I have one more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, black hair. And so that is these saving for medical needs. They're all in separate listings. Um, because when you do a PDF file, you cannot um, do variations for downloads. So I wasn't able to do, you know, one listing with these as variations. But that's okay. So then I had some fun this week. I also did this because I had several people asking me for a medical one. And <clears throat> like I said, I have another medical one coming out, um, and uh, that one's real fun. It's, uh, well, you're going to recognize it. So anyway, and then, what, I don't know what order these are in. Oh, okay. So I did these. I, this one is a, nope, oh, I'm looking for the envelope. Yep. So this one was a request and I never bring my notebook in with all my requests in it. I apologize for that. So if this was your request, let me know. Raise your hand. Uh, someone wanted Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So there he is and all his little buddies. I'm also going to do another one with Rudolph because I have some more images that I want to be able to use. But this is saving with Rudolph. Again, you decide how much each of the reindeer is worth. I think when I do this one, I will color in the nose red. And that will be one trip through. And then if I want a second trip through, I will color the reindeer. And if I want a third trip through these, I will color the antlers. So, um... But I do want to do the nose red. So there is Rudolph. Who was it that asked for Rudolph? I have it in my notebook. And then I did an envelope or a dashboard, if you cut it as a dashboard. And then... Okay... So I did kind of a silly one, but I really like the idea of this one. So I have found recently that I have had to do a couple of IOUs. I-O-U, yes. As opposed to an O-U-I, which is operating under the influence. I-O-U. And then I got, you know, when you do one of those, then you've got to take it out of the money you have the next time you play or the next time you do savings challenges. And I was getting a little frustrated about that because I didn't want to cut into my next savings. So I made an IOU, savings for saving for IOUs. I made a challenge for it. And it says, 
You know you do it. You are playing a savings game and go over the amount you have available to save. So you write an IOU. Now let's save for those times. So I'm just going to start saving for them. And yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to laminate this one because I'll use it over and over again. And I'll make each one of these $5 probably. Um, and I'll just throw the money in. And then when I need to pull it out, I can pull it out and erase that pig if I need to. Um, or however much the IOU is. And then I made an envelope for it, saving for those IOUs. And obviously that can be any type of IOU. That could just be um, saving for money that you owe, right? For a bill or something. But I just thought it would be fun to have one specifically for saving for, for me, that's what I'm going to use it for, for saving for those IOUs that I'm coming up with lately. And he's throwing his money around here, of course. And the dashboard has little Mickey on it. And then, <clears throat> um, I did, I, I really like this one. Someone had asked for this or one like this. Um, they'd asked for Haunted Mansion. Um, and so I, I found this image, I, these images and I purchased them. Um, and it is for the hitchhikers of the Haunted Mansion. Isn't that adorable? So if you've ever been on the ride, Haunted Mansion, there are uh, ghostly hitchhikers that get into your car that you're riding in um, at the end. So that's kind of cool. And I did some haunted houses that you can color in. You can decide. I mean, do you just want to color it in and it equals a certain amount? Or does the roof going to be one thing and the house going to be another and the windows another? However you want to do it. Um, and then, of course, we have the dashboard of the hitchhiking ghost. So there's that. And I called it Haunted Savings. And, that, and th these so far, I think these are all up in the shop. This next one is not in the shop. And it is Super Mario. So the way you do this is you decide how much to save in each box. You can roll a dice and add that amount or just save what you can and add it to the box. So I like to do this. Roll the dice and I'm in <clears throat> I do one of two things. I either double it, so I would put a 10 in here and save ten dollars. And there are 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 boxes. Or you can roll the dice, you get a four, you could put a four in there, you can roll it again, you got a one, you can put a one in there, so now it's five dollars that you're going to save. Um, or you can, you know, you can do it however you want. Um, you can save twenty dollars per box or five dollars per box. And it's whatever you want to do. I like rolling the dice because it's just more fun. It's more like a game. And so, like, that's a 12, so I would put $12, I'd put a 12 in that box and put $12 in the envelope. And it has all of Mario's friends. We've got Princess Peach, and we've got Bowser, and is that his name, Bowser? Yeah, Luigi, all of those people or things, <laughs> and, of course, the dashboard. Again, if you really want this one, please contact me either at my email, fairyrosecottage at gmail.com, or you can message me on Etsy um, and just say that you would, you're interested in um, the gaming one. So there's that. But I also made another one just like it only with princesses and we've got them we've got them all we even have tinkerbell 
So there's Tinkerbell and Ariel and Jasmine and Belle and, uh, and they're all those cute little ones. We've even got Jane. And again, play it the same way. Um, I called it saving with royalty. And uh, you just can roll the dice and do it that way. I'm actually going to do this one. I start this one coming up. I'm going to laminate mine because I foresee wanting to do this over and over again. Um, I can make this with other characters or um, themes if you want. So just check in with me. And of course, I did a dashboard and I did the cute little Tinkerbell envelope or dashboard, whichever you want to use it for. And then last but not least, I did another game. So I call these ones games, these two, because I roll the dice to do it. Um, but it, you don't have to call them games, of course. You can call them whatever you want. So this one I'm so excited about. It is getting laminated and it is going in my game book. The thing is, is it's another dice game. And so I've got so many dice games going. I really don't, but I got a couple. Um, it's not, it's not a shut the box. Although, no, you can, you cannot play it like that because of what it's called. So it's called Villains versus, Villain versus Princess. And what it is, is it is dice. Ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and six. And each one has a villain or a princess. Maleficent, Aurora, the Queen, Snow White. So it's the villain and the princess that go together. Ursula and Ariel. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll the dice. And it's a one, so I would color this one in and put a dollar in. Then I'd roll it again. Oh, it's another one. Color it in, put a dollar in. Oh my gosh, you guys. A three. Color in a three, put three dollars in, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> and what you're trying to find out is who will reach the top first? Will it be a villain or a princess? Will it be good or evil? Okay. Um, so, yeah. And I think how I will do it is <clears throat> play it. Whoever gets to the top first, um, it's great. And then I will erase it and start all over again. Now, the other way you could do it is play it and say Aurora gets to the top first. So there you go. She's the first, but you could keep playing. So then uh, you keep playing, keep playing, and Ursula gets to the top second, and then third, and what? It, however you want to do it. So you could do a whole blackout thing if you wanted to. But I am going to laminate this one also so I can use it over and over again. And I did a envelope with all of them on it. So it's good versus evil or villain versus princess. <clears throat> I, I'm, I think I'm so, mostly so excited about this and this. Um, the medical needs one was a need. It was something that I really needed to do. And so I will do that. And um, yeah. And so, I am, but I'm most excited about these two. And don't get me wrong, I like Mario. I don't, um, my son-in-law's name is Mario, actually. Um, I don't play the game or anything, but my grandson does, and my son does, and my son-in-law does. So uh, my daughter and son-in-law's uh, cake topper was Princess Peach when they got married. So, yeah, so we like Mario. 
So that's it for today, guys. I hope that you all have a lovely rest of your Monday. And I will be back real soon. Um, I know I've said this before. I have some happy mail. And I really want to share it. Um, but I have it in a different room because I've been ruminating over it. Trying to decide what I, I'm going to do. So uh, I keep... I keep forgetting to bring it in here, but I will bring it in soon to show you. I hope you guys love these, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye.